And no background noise. No barking well, dogs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there are barking dogs and there are motorcycles. I'm, I'm uh, in Bali, sort of on this balcony. So it's, um, you do get your occasional motorbikes for us, Bali. Very nice. Are you on holiday? Not really, no. Um, this is just where I'm living at the moment. It's just, um, I've actually only been here for about two months. Uh, over the period of the G20. Um, and I've decided to sort of stay here a little while longer um, just to see what's, what's going to happen. Um, yes, I sort of, yes, just doing my usual business. Um, yeah, I've, got a, I've actually got an office here in Bali. I'm sort of uh -huh. still doing some renovations some renovation so I can move back into there at the moment, just in this BNB on the side of close to the beach. Right. Well, that doesn't sound. <laughs> Doesn't sound too uh, unpleasant. Oh no, I can, yeah, you know, I can put up with it. <laughs> um, this is actually the first time in Bali for a very long time, years and years. Even though I've had an office here, uh, God knows how long, since 2006. Very rarely come here. It's just um, not quite my place. But yes, yeah, so it's been about five years actually since I visited in Bali. So, so it's not too. I'm sort of out of the way here. So. Um, it's not, it's not too bad. Oh, I guess Australia. we haven't had, uh, oh, Australia, yes. Um, I was there quite, uh, well, three months. Ah, here she is. Elfie. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh gosh, how amazing. I got to see you. Yeah, same, same, same. Let me change it. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, it wouldn't play, it wouldn't. Mm. Can I make it big? You can hear us all right. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. No? Yes, yes, you're clear. Yeah, okay. Well, I was just saying that I'm here in Bali. Um, I've been here for a couple of months. I'm actually in an Airbnb at the moment. Um, just um, it's not far from the beach. So, yeah. And I was about to talk about Australia. Yes, I just had come back from Australia uh, where I've been for about three months, sort of getting my one of my daughters settled in. For her study, well, that, that's really, yeah, you know, really what I'm up to. That's yeah, that's 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 all I've spoken about so far. Right. Is that real behind you, or is that a wallpaper with jungle on it? No, that, that, no, no, no. That's the real thing. Wow. Actually, you probably could see my the brand brand of pennies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, the usual the usual stuff. Yeah. Well, I say your range all, of B and Bs is phenomenal. I can remember that yes. hellhole in Holland <laughs> oh, with the sickly field, green. <laughs> oh, that one! Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. I actually, actually like that place. Despite the <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my! <laughs> nutrition. Yes, so uh, for hmm? what? For the nutrition. That's behind you. Very interesting literature. Something um, nutrition. Food and yes, nutrition. I <laughs> Yes, I, I wouldn't put a lot of credence on it, uh, but yeah, <laughs> these are all sort of books left over from uh, tourists that have come here. So yeah, that, that's probably not the best of books. Uh, mm. yeah. Yeah, but I'm here with so my, is this a my, holiday? Not really, no. You're, you're here with... I'm, sorry, no. I'm here with my uh, wife and uh, one child, um, the, little, the little one, Amanda. Um, yeah, I was here for the, the G20 mainly, uh, just on the sidelines things there. Uh, so yeah, I basically came from Australia straight to Bali um, and uh, just started doing things here. But yeah, now that's all finished, I'm just doing business stuff. Um, and the uh, yeah, fair bit's happening. Uh, so yes, yeah, so it's not, no, not really a holiday. <laughs> right. It's just where mm. I live. So, yeah. I'm, so, I'm sort of waiting for my, uh, I've got to re-renovate my, my office here, my, my office uh, house, my shop house. Um, it's sort of been years without any repairs. And so I'm sort of at this Airbnb while that's getting fixed up. And when it's fixed, I'll move back there probably for, for a few months. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, what have you been doing? Um, yeah, Rupert first, go on. What have you I'm, I'm, I'm intentionally keeping very quiet because I, <laughs> I went out last night and uh, had rather too much to, uh, to drink. Oh God. Yeah. Oh. You got not... jolly. What were you celebrating? <laughs> 
<laughs> it was the uh, laying up supper for the sailing club. So it was the, it's like the prize giving, uh, end of year sailing club do. And uh, it, was, it was very good, uh, fish and chips on the coast in the sailing club. But uh, somehow I managed to drink rather too much wine and uh, I'm suffering this morning. Oh. So, well. <laughs> you, you sound a bit rough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you should see me on the inside. <laughs> so I, uh, other than that, other than that, uh, oh, you know, I've been yes busy, busy uh, doing building work uh, mainly for my daughter's just put a new kitchen in, so I was doing that for her. So I was looking after my daughter too, like you were looking after yours in Australia. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Alfie? What have you been up to? Um, no daughters, no. <laughs> um, um, gosh, we haven't met for ages. Summer. Some of some. Uh, mm, mainly, I've been looking, looking after people. Yeah, I think. Um, my friend That's Margot, who who um, who um, I've been very involved with in one way or another, but she she died just um, five days ago now. So, oh no. Um, well, yeah. yeah. Oh no. Partly that, and partly. Uh, it, it, it was very gentle and ah. and lovely in that way if one you know yeah not a bad way to go in the end but that's been a bit bit intense the weeks before mm. and um and now it's it's weird you know it's always weird like that isn't there there's all sorts of i i i, um, I observe it just inside me all these th these waves of feelings and interpretations and uh, really old stuff coming up uh, that has nothing to do with it really but you know about some grievances also it's it's a, a right old storm i'm fascinated by my internal life at the moment you know, and what this brain comes up with in the way of interpretations and um memories is i see it as desperately trying to make sense of it without kind of i don't know it's it's there's maybe it's frightened it's um it's there's a lot of disappointment you know how can she die on me and all that kind of it's, it's really what and god almighty um storm but not it's, i mean i'm i'm not up and down like a yo-yo it is kind of in the background but if i could if i wanted to i could zoom in on it, in it and get all um get wound up in it and if it's if you if you don't want to then it is this kind of goings on in the background you know, yeah. when actually all that's necessary is uh, recover sleep a lot drink coffee and get drunk too you know yeah <laughs> so it's, oh. it's interesting those are my last few days and um, before i went to the first time for two and a half years because of this weird covid situation that we were always out of sync with germany with covid so when it was all right to travel here you can go there and vice versa and so I've seen my family for the first time for nearly three years. And that was one week of you know, just constant talking, 20 hours a day. I came back, I couldn't speak anymore. I, just, <laughs> I was so knackered. Oh, But I mean, blooming heck, my, my two sisters are 10 and 11 years older than me. One I find in a care home, completely oh. and utterly demented, one has to say. She didn't recognize okay. me. Wow. I know. I had no idea how bad that was. And partly it is because my other sister, who's that main link to her, I know she I knew she was in a care home. I had no idea how bad it was. And the reason why is that my other sister, who I kind of just relied on for information, is rapidly going that way and oh is just not capable anymore of being that link, really. So I I so that's that's equally dev that's more devastating almost it's devastating actually and uh, interesting how the rest of the family tri trips is around it and no one really acknowledges what's going on there and therefore nothing is said about mm -hmm. it and therefore not i don't know anything about these things and it's just i'm still i haven't come to terms with that it's too i came back and then it was all about dying and and so i'm, I'm going back to that now and say bloody hell bloody hell what mm -hmm. Do about it now. So yeah, that's it's, it's um anyway, why both of them? That's a lot to cope with. It is a bit of yeah. a cope. Yeah. Mm. A bit, a bit. 
do you think the family didn't mention anything because perhaps they didn't they didn't see you, know, you're, you're, you haven't seen them for two or three years perhaps they've just been seeing a deterioration very slowly and yeah. just haven't sort of yeah i think that is possible you know, yeah registered that mm, they kind of mm. hinted at it and it's 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 not something you pick up uh, when you have a video like a zoom or something because you know with mm. my other sister it's it's just like yeah the circumstances are so that with my older sister who is really con the, the, the contact has always been very sporadic because of the way she's wired but with my other sister you can have a conversation about Nietzsche with her no problem um, but she gets stuck in the washing up like you can only experience that that something is a bit mm. not right um, mm. and and it's you know it's also interesting that daughter who I'm very close to. It's not something you can really, I guess, talk about so easily. Yeah. Anyway, mm. I'm, I'm processing. Yeah, I don't know yet. Mm. Oh, hey, it is getting old. It's no fun. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> it just gets, yeah, it doesn't get any better, does it? <laughs> it doesn't mm. seem to. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Is it? Is it luck? Is it genes? Is it lifestyle? I don't know. Yeah, I think that's the answer. Yeah, all the above. All the above, yeah. yeah. Stress? Very stressy people. Mm. I mean, yeah, yeah. Very unhappy. Is it a lifetime of unhappiness? I can really say that that is a common feature. Mm. That's a study to do. Unhappy, does unhappiness damage your brain? <laughs> well, I think there, there might be, there seems to be evidence for that, I think. For people who don't have, uh, who for whatever reason don't have positive attitudes, tend to slip more easily, more easily into depression and their, their brains degenerate uh, at, a, at a faster rate. That's my understanding from what little I've read. Uh, so I think, I think definitely seems to be definitely a thing. That, you know, negativity, depression, these sorts of things can take a toll. They must do. I mean, depression sort of you know, it affects your cognition, I think. And to that extent, you know, you're not really engaged. You're not. You, you know, your brain cells aren't being exercised. They're not making new connections. They're sort of going backwards in a lot of ways. And that that seems to you know, that's my understanding of effect of depression on the brain um, mm. so it, it would seem to be certainly okay um, so, so i guess i better cheer up <laughs> yes. can i recommend that? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's do something wholesome <laughs> get out on the sea hey have you got your day skipper rupert uh, I've, no no i've not done much <laughs> Big sail, sailing. I've not done much sailing really. Um, done a bit. We had a few, few goes out. Uh, no, next year, definitely. Are you very close to the sailing club where you are? Yeah, it's about a twenty-minute walk down to the sea. To oh, great, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we might come down in a fortnight or so. Can we visit? Of course, of course. That's I'm amazing. assuming you're saying, thinking of Hastings rather than Bali when you're. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you're not, not going to come here too. Uh, can we to Bali in a couple? Of... <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> it seems to be a nice place, Gary. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. Would you? <laughs> would you like to stay, Elfie? To stay? Oh. Um, well, gosh. we have accommodation. Well, I mean, it depends entirely on your plans, but. Wow, that is uh, that would be amazing. Are you sure? Well, what, what think dates? about it. Um, possibly 12th or so. Possibly. Um, but not quite sure yet. Yeah, no, we have nothing on free that week. So, yeah. Of course. You're welcome, but you think about it. What? Okay. Oh, that's really cool. Thank you. So are you, are you doing Amazing. a tour? Um. No, no. I t told you about our friends who moved in. Our young friends—they have the oh, yeah, baby yeah, yeah. now. Right. And, um, 
I mean, might visit them. So that, Brilliant. Um, but, um, yeah, we were thinking about because their, their place is too small yeah. with the baby and all that. I think we wouldn't, we didn't want to. So we thought of an Airbnb. Um, and, uh, definitely wonderful to see you both. Hmm. And uh, and to, for you to get to know John as well, that'd be really cool. Yeah, me. that'd be lovely. Hmm. Anyway, we have to. Gary has to come to to Holland, and we have to get together there or something. <laughs> I don't think yeah, I will make yeah, it to yeah. Bali and in a hurry after all. <laughs> well, it's, it's it's not that far. I mean, twelve hours oh, flight or something. <laughs> it's, it's nothing. nothing to you, is it? It's really nothing to you. <laughs> yes. I, I think, you know, keep, do you keep... part, you get... hmm? Hmm? Say, say. I, I think coming from us, maybe it's coming from Australia. You sort of get take these huge distances for, for granted. Going to Europe just seems so so small, or to, even to England just seems tiny. <laughs> you know that you can sort of go from one end of the country to another in a couple of hours or something by train or whatever. Yeah. Um, no. The first, one of the first tra train journeys I did was from uh, Perth uh, to Sydney. And that took three days non-stop. So, you know, that's all the difference. <laughs> the can't, I can't process that, honestly. That is just yes, so exactly. bad. <laughs> yes. yeah. Wow. wow. So the, the tiny distances in, in, in Europe are just, you know, they're just sort of, I, I, you know, I find it hard to comprehend that you can sort of be in one country and sort of just, you know, wander off for a couple of hours and be in another one. You know, it's, uh, um, yeah, it takes, yeah, not something I'm used to. So you should come down, yeah? I mean, it's plenty of space. So. <laughs> and you were really there for the COP 20, 2020. No, not, not, not COP, the G20. The G20. The oh. COP was COP 26, that was in Egypt. No, the G20. Oh, that was, that no, was the no, the G, part. that's what I mean. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's, it's the one that Putin did. Probably I'm going down. So it, was actually, <laughs> it was actually the G19, because uh, to everybody's relief, uh, uh, Putin didn't turn up. So. No, I think he, he wouldn't have left Russia. I mean, it would have been, you know, he couldn't have trusted uh, uh, things through his deputies. And uh, I think he would have been locked off his perch if he'd left, uh, if, if he'd left Russia. So it was just as well he didn't turn up. Mm. Mm. How is it going now? With, have you, has your business recovered? Is it stable again? Are your people all right? Mm. Oh, no, pretty, you know, relatively stable. Um, um, I don't know how many employees we've got now. I think it's probably about 50 now. So yeah, it's, uh, certainly it's been reduced. Um, um, but uh, yes, it's, it's pretty stable. Um, you know, uh, and you know, I have managed to sort of pick up wages, you know, raise wages again. So I, I had cut them back for probably about a year. And now I've pretty severely cut back. So you know, we have recovered. The people have been paid you know, better wages now. Um, so. And, and but really, the, the, the real things that are happening now are these island sales. So I'm just involved with uh, uh, selling these islands to a particular party here in Indonesia. The islands are actually partly owned by a, a consortium in England. Um, a bunch of sort of, um, what, I guess you would call them landed uh, aristocrats um, with lots of money. But uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a, a circus. So, so yeah, that, that's sort of been, and plus it's been island doing. Um, island work in other parts of the country as well. So that, that, that mainly, yeah, that's, a, that's mainly just engaged myself and you know, probably a handful of other people. So that's sort of been bringing some money in. So you know, we're certainly quite solvent, there's no problems there. Um, but, but certainly that the level of investment that's coming in, the number of companies that we're opening has, you know, has certainly reduced quite markedly. Uh, just because people aren't moving around the world anymore, people aren't investing um, outside of their home countries anymore. You know, this, the whole COVID thing is just put a damper on people wanting to, to move. You know, I guess they feel that if I set up somewhere else, I'll, I might get stuck there in a COVID lockdown and, or I might get locked out of the country for whatever reason. Um, so that, that put a damper on a lot of investment. And just, just the uncertainty of being, knowing whether you could get into or out of a country. So, but generally things are going well, you know, quite well. My, my, most of the day-to-day -day work these days is been taken over by my uh, senior accountant, who's a, um, a CPA, who just, by the way, is going to marry one of my daughters, who is also working there. So that, that's sort of been going on these past few months. Um, I'm doing all the 
the rigmarole that has to be done in Java before people can get married. I probably I, they haven't said yet, but I think it's probably going to be early next year that they'll get married. So basically, I'll be keeping it all in the family, you know, um, because I, that, that daughter does actually work in in the company. She does you know, some of the promotional stuff. Um, she's the one that came back from Australia after studying there. So not the not the ones I just sent. That's another one. <laughs> How many are there then? <laughs> Not nine to give. That. Well, I, I say nine. That's what I say. There are nine. Nine. Well, yes, um, but yeah, there are qualifications. So. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So how many? Yeah, there's five. Five girls. So, and uh, yeah, yeah. I think that's right. Five. Five girls. Mm -hmm. So, is it five? Sorry. Oh. Can't be right. No, I'll. I'll want to <laughs> have to consult the spreadsheet. Sure. <laughs> of spring. No, no, there's four, four, four girls. There's four girls <laughs> and sort of five boys. Five boys. You That's never mentioned point. the boys other than Ananda. <laughs> That's just we're catching up. Yes, yes. Well, yeah. The, um, see, the, the, the Shen, Aiden, Arjuna, Rama, and Ananda. Mm. So yeah, five. Yeah. But uh, one, one died. Right. And so, are they all kind of you, you've set them? You, you talk about the, the girls, you know, you set them up and stuff. Is there, are, are you doing that for all of them and and all the boys? They must be adults, um, too, well, mostly other, other well, than the, the two. My, my two oldest girls that they were born in Australia, they're ethnic Australian. So, but they're, um, well, I think the oldest is um, 43, mm -hmm. um, and second oldest, um, maybe 38, no, 39. So, so they're well established, very well established in, in Australia. Although, although my eldest actually spent probably more than ten years in Korea, um, in South Korea. So, yeah. oh, and my second eldest spent a lot of time in, in Kenya. But they, they're they're all established in and around Melbourne, um, along with my uh, third, fourth oldest daughter. So number one, two, and four are there. <laughs> You like you like uh, like the re-smog politician. <laughs> he, he just kind of he, he just named his children one one two three four in in Latin. Well, you know, well that's, like. that's what they do in in, in Bali. In Bali, all, do all they? The children are named oh, really? name after the after their, their birth. Order. And so you know, which makes it very difficult to go out and call somebody like come on, come here, or Lagos, come here. That so you know, it's a birth order. And so you know, one in four per people are sort of raised around. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's not very convenient. <laughs> and that, that's an, an official part of every Balinese name is that birth order name, and that's often what they get called. So yeah. interesting. And they have other names, of course, but yeah. Mm. Oh. Wow. That was the same in, uh, yeah, but, in yeah. Cambia. Is it? Well, yeah. yeah, it's just, they have the same thing. Yeah, whether first born, um, they're all called the same, and I think the second are all called the same. I think after that, they can have different names. But twins are always they have the same name. Twins so have you, the same yeah. name. Yeah. So if you're, a I mean, you know, masculine and feminine, but they, I can't remember what the word is, but they're all, and they have lots of twins. They have the highest rate of twins anyway, I think. And uh, so it's a good chance that you'll be a twin. So they're, yeah, they have just a few names. <laughs> Everybody's got the so same name. So then there but... would be someone with the same name and the same birth date. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's obviously a... they have ex extra names, that's but a... their, their, their <laughs> first name is the, is the same as their brother or sister or. Uh, wow. Yeah. It must, it must be culturally quite common in that case, by the sounds of it. Yeah. Gosh. But anyway, to your question, I mean, I mean, yes, I'm sort of doing the same process for all the Indonesian children, basically packing them off to Australia and uh, um, basically dunking them into a completely foreign culture and getting them to learn English. Uh, and then, you know, if they want, they can come back. Uh, my daughter, who had come back, who's getting married, um, um, she actually didn't want to, she actually wanted to go back to Australia uh, when she returned from there. Uh, but then the lockdown started and the Australian lockdown was a, a real lockdown. You know? yeah, it was uh, yeah. impossible to get in or out mm. for two years or more. Uh, mm. So mm. when that happened, I guess, you know, well, she sort of settled into life in Jakarta. Uh, and, uh, you know, so she probably won't go back, but you know, she didn't intend to go back, but now that's what's going to happen. So you know, that, that's it. the influence of, of a pandemic <laughs> can change plans. Wow, Radic change Radic completely, huh? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? I think, that is real. I think my, I think my daughter there, my Indonesian there now, I think she'll, she might stay in Australia. I think. Um, you know, that's obviously completely up to her, but uh, uh, I think she might be 
yeah, might be happier there than in Indonesia. Yeah, but the plan is that you know that you know, the next I've, I've got um, my uh, boy is uh, 15 years old. He's actually in Batam at the moment near Singapore. Um, so he's next in the queue. So probably in one or two years' time, he'll be making the journey. Yeah. And I sort of I sort of process their Australian citizenship at the same time, so they become dual nationals. So basically, setting them up with lots of choices. Wow. So will that be a big affair? The the wedding is that big in oh, Indonesia? Yeah. Or... Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the big fat Javanese wedding, that's what it is. Yeah. Like, they're huge. And I, I know a lot about, about Indonesian weddings, I can I can assure you. Uh, so yes. I mean if if if, if you know if two or three hundred people came, that would be considered fairly modest, mm. a modest sized wedding. <laughs> uh, you know, if, if a thousand people came, well that, okay, that's starting to get big. <laughs> <laughs> and where do you pitch it? Oh, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, and, and who pays for it? And uh, this is obviously the, the, the problem that the, the, the the father of the bride pays all for this. Is is so, that so? Uh, yeah. yeah. The father of the bride. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Into these deep pockets, Gary. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, well, this is this is why I need a lot of you know, a lot of reserves. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, they, they, these children, they're, they're expensive. They are. Uh, and how how old is Ananda good. now? How old is he? He's five. Okay. And he's okay. He's well, not doing well. Okay, five. Um. Well, yeah, he's you know, obviously autistic, but his language has started to get better. His language is, and I think that's partly to do with, with the school he's going to. He's going to an Islamic school here in, in Bali, and he has to practice his Arabic. And they've got these sort of uh, uh, phonetic exercises which they've got to sort of do by right over and over and over again. Uh, and, and I think that's actually you know, triggered something in him, and he's actually sort of figured out that, oh, these are, these are things I use to put words together. And he's actually started to talk a little bit more. Uh, and a lot more, well, a little, little bit more clearly. So it's still not sometimes not very really clear at all. So yeah, you certainly have done some. Uh, you certainly advanced for sure. Mm. Yeah, it's just funny that it actually happened as a result of those um, you know, Arabic exercises. All, all uh, Islamic schools, you know, Arabic is sort of a compulsory subject, um, and, and the way they learned is these these rote uh, exercises with you know the alphabet and things like that. So. And of course, they also do the memorization of, of verses and, and various other things. So that, that exercise of memorizing verses, uh, that in itself, I think, is uh, even though he doesn't understand a word of what he's saying, in this system, the Arabic he's actually speaking, he wouldn't have a clue what it meant. Uh, but the, the actual exercise of rote repetition uh, and, and the exercise of you know, making sounds, correct sounds, uh, I think that has actually helped him to, to, to speak you know, Indonesian uh, normally. So, yeah, but that, I can imagine. Really I can really see that. Mm. Yeah, that it's just mm. making sounds really, and perhaps yes, yes. even better right with you have, when you when it's mm. just about sounds and not about language. You know, kind of almost separating yeah. mm. meaning and sound production, and uh, yes. it it, yeah. it might be less overwhelming in in a way. I could imagine, mm. and that it's just one thing that you just it's like singing, uh, almost. Yeah, and, and yeah, just, so, yeah. yeah like that. Ah, mm. very fascinating. Well, that's fascinating. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so he's going to school there. So he's going to stay for a while. In Bali? Um, well, uh, well, well, I may not, but I think I'll I'll keep uh, my wife uh, and, and Ananda here in Bali. Um, I, I really don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'll, I'll need to go back to Australia um, for at least perhaps a couple of months. I'll have to see what happens. But you know, there's so many things happening there. You know, with the island sales, not going to be in certain places at certain times, and hard to. On the do transactions. I've got to get, you know, I've got weddings, which are, you know, for some reason I've got to be at. So, um, so I've got to sort of plan around all that and figure out when I can go back to Australia. So, and then I'll probably come, possibly come back to to Bali after that. But I'll have to see. Yeah. Right. I have to say, it, cool. it, it does concern me because you say I keep my wife in Bali. <laughs> So I don't know what to do well, with that I sentence, this, Gary. I keep this this, this wife in mind. I don't know if that makes it better. Well, it does because she also a lot of problems in the other place with the other one. So, oh my, it's, it's complicated. Don't don't go into it. It'll only confuse. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> So your life doesn't seem to get any less complex, Gary. As, as all the time I've known you, it's a, 
<laughs> you think you think it would sort things so that they were there would be less going on in your life. I've had but... well, that's has been my plan for so many years. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not you're not, no. not very good, is it? Carrying out this plan, right? <laughs> no. I mean, the idea of a plan no. is that well, okay, okay, actually well, you execute it and well, I'd like things to see you change. Do or, or <laughs> well, I, I, I don't have I don't have these problems, so, so <laughs> yeah, I, clearly I have done it better. And, so. <laughs> My my early planning was was, uh, was more more acute, and uh, I've managed to. Well, actually, no. I suppose the plans are both we're both good. Just some of us are better at uh, executing them. Clearly, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're way down the list. I have to say, of people. <laughs> but I'm, I'm impressed you can run a business. It's, uh... yeah, well, well, luckily, certainly these past few years, I've I've handled off most of that to other people, um, uh -huh. including children. So you know, the, the plan is to sort of bob things up onto the children and other people as quickly as possible so I can get out of them. I mean, I remember it was, you know, just uh, uh, not long after the courses, you know, I was basically trying to sort of get myself into a state that I could completely wind down. And, yeah. uh, oh, I remember and it well. Other things. Yeah, and yeah, then, I remember that uh, it's, too. It's, yeah. it's recorded. It's, it's, it's on tape. Yeah, exactly, yes, we have, we have the evidence and, and, uh, of this, but that was quite a long time ago. And, so, <laughs> well, and that still is my determination. My plans have not changed, but however the timetable has, uh, you know. Um, a few things intervened in the, in the, in the yeah we let you off there was a bit of a pandemic <laughs> well even before the pandemic things were sort of the, the, the economy at that time was was tanking um you know certainly with an investment into indonesia but you know it wasn't just you know it was sort of even that the lead up in, into the pandemic when the pandemic came of course then you know all debts are off and you know it's um you know yeah pretty much very very chaotic um so yeah i'm basically trying to get back to that state um where I could sort of say, well, okay, I'm going now. Uh, look after things yourself. I, you know, I, I don't want to know anymore. Or you know, don't 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 bother me as much as you usually do. Let's try and sort things out yourself. So, but yeah, I haven't got quite to that state yet. And uh, you know, people sort of you know keep on getting married and all this sort of nonsense. Then uh, yeah, um, but you know, like I said, the, the plan has not changed. The plan has not changed. Did you and ever finish? <laughs> did you ever finish that? You said you were building a. You know, when you had, mm -hmm. um, for me, the last big go at it, you were busy on big, yeah. on deep chill to build this this um, interface where everything well, was protocol. just in one, in one, in a protocol, exactly, <laughs> yes. where the yes. whole of the business mm -hmm. would be just laid out and all, mm -hmm. all the uh, definite responsibilities and mm -hmm. uh, all that. Did you yeah. ever do that in the end? <laughs> well, well that, that sort of probably mixed up a couple of things in terms of you know, the, the company uh, reorganization and, and the, the uh, 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 what we'd call it, the... Uh, data interchange protocols that would sort of bypass the platforms that was sort of a separate sort of project and that that is still ongoing but basically what it's morphed into now is just me collecting lots of uh, uh you know doing a lot of reading doing a lot of uh, watching of you know quality uh, uh, videos uh you know on all sorts of topics but usually revolving around you know uh, philosophy and religion science technology and other things uh, and just collecting information, making notes, and making playlists. Uh, you know, you probably haven't seen that on on, on our channel. Uh, th there's lots and lots of playlists, and they're, they're basically just me putting, you know, notes, uh, you know, in, in these various playlists so that I can sort of refer back to them when I want to get back to sort of uh, at, at some point writing about uh, uh, Dharma and uh, associated uh, subjects. So, uh, yeah, the, the, no, the plan hasn't hasn't changed. It just evolved and ha ha it had to adapt uh, to, 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 to the circumstances. But uh, uh, the aim is to sort of simplify, simplify, simplify so that I can concentrate on, 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 on things. So, because at the moment, like, I cannot concentrate properly. I mean, certainly in, in terms of writing or producing you know, any sort of you know, creative output, at the moment, that's not going to happen, not, not under certain, these conditions. So, hopefully, okay, next year, maybe, who knows? <laughs> Hmm. Uh, you know, if, if it's not a great depression, which of course there will be. Um, but so, so <laughs> do you, you both? Do you think that you know what we what we worked on, what we um, uh, what we learned in the course, what we discussed, is that of like daily relevance to both of you in in your lives? Do you feel? I I think it is for me. I mean, it's, yeah. it's um, I think what you were saying early on, Elfie, about when the being aware of all of the things that arise and watching tracking that rather than being led by and controlled by i think that that is something that is obviously not constantly there but it's it's on often on reflection whenever and if something happens that there's a, an ability to be able to respond 
in a more objective fashion. And I don't think that would, I think that's sort of become a habit, which is very good, which is very positive rather than being drawn by things. So you just, let's see, I mean, you still have that, well, I still have that first reaction, but quite quickly I can, I can just reflect on it and let it, let it happen and be aware of it. So I, so I think, yeah. And in fact, lots of things that I've, as you know, I did, I was quite interested in this creative, the idea of relationship between creativity and, and Dharma. And I'm, I'm sort of less interested in it being a Dharma than it being a way of being. And so I, I, I just think, but I do think that for everybody, it's important to be, also give, and well, to sort of have an awareness of what is creative in our lives and to exploit it. So I'm, so I'm, I'm, so I sort of, I'm signing up for things and saying, I'll, I'll do this and I'll do that because they're quite interesting things to do. I'm going to make a three meter high spider for our local park. Why would you do that? Well, you whittle it. <laughs> well, it's quite interesting. There's a, a, an Edwardian greenhouse in the park, which was a, a, it's a very big greenhouse. It looks something out of Kew Gardens and it was sort of of that era. And it was made from teak and cast iron and a very elaborate affair. And it, it just fell into ruin. And 10 years ago, a group of volunteers um, hacked their way through with machetes to get to it. It's in the middle of a public park, it's bizarre. It's just been all overgrown. And they, for the last nine years, they've been renovating it. And one of the things they did, it, it had, it's quite a long building. And so it's got over a hundred um, glazing bars that hold the roof in. So you've got a bar. And they're three meters long and they ran down one down one side and all down the other side and they had to replace them all but they're in teak so it's a nice hardwood but being a glazy bar they're thin but they just didn't want to throw them away because they've replaced them all and it's all in new stuff now and i was doing a carving event in the park somewhere else for another group and this lady came along and she started chatting and she said oh i'm linda and i'm the chair of the committee that are renovating the greenhouse and I knew the greenhouse was there and I knew there was a project going on but I hadn't and she said I just completely out of the blue she said well I've got all these glazing bars and we'd like to do something some sort of make something but we don't know what to do with them I don't want to throw them all away so I've I've made a spider I've designed a spider I, I'll go and it's easier I'll, oh, you. I'll I'll let's have a look. Uh, well the, this one is one tenth scale so. okay. <laughs> well I, I, I mean I, I oh my <laughs> That's amazing. It will be whatever. You do. I still remember the bird. You know that just mm, looked yeah. so incredible, wasn't it? Mm, that that yeah. Rupert can do that. That kind of three-dimensional um, thinking and and make something mm. absolutely stunning. Like that. Oh yeah. my gosh! Scary spider, <laughs> three meter yeah, spider, well, blooming egg. <laughs> why well, is three meters? <laughs> Where would they put it? Well, because the glazing bar is three meters, I guess. Yeah, so it it can. Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh, it might be bigger then. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, so it's a daddy long legs spider. Yeah. Yes. Here we are. spider. So that's a daddy daddy long legs. Wow. No, no, this is a spider. It's got eight legs, and it's a. Uh, you can see the this bit. That's the body, and that that's that's about a meter long. So this is one to ten, and that's the way and it's going to be. Oh my god! So these legs are what the, are the glazing bars. They're not the they they're bigger than this. This is but just they, a, the this, model this size. This is one one tenth the size. Okay. Of, so, so a person would be about that size. Okay. So you'll be able to climb up in it. No, because it's not <laughs> it's not going to be strong enough. Um, and at the moment, I'm having well, to make all. But people are going to do that. Well, yeah. yeah what what are you? But, the thing is, it's inside a. It'll be inside oh. this confined area. Um, it's not. So it's not a. Okay. It's not in the park. Open to the well, it is open to the public, but you mm. you you have to come in, and it's in a, a re regulated area. So it's okay. not as if. It, yeah. And and it's okay. all locked up at night, so it's not. But it's so people a, won't jump on it because obviously no, no. that would be the thing to do if it were out in a park. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, it's not. It's 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 more of a a, a, a sculpture, a sort of temporary sculpture. But the, the interesting thing is, I'm going to. I'm going to make it with these are all these joints will be bolted together yeah so it means that you can take you can undo them and you can move them oh. so you can articulate so it doesn't have to be of a one fixed thing so it'll fit 
it'll suit the landscape because the the land the the, the um, greenhouse is here and then it goes up to the road which is up here and at the moment you can walk be walking along the road by the side of the park and you don't look down you don't realize there's anything down there so the idea is this is sort of coming out of the greenhouse up to the road so that if you're walking by you'll you'll see it and you'll think well oh, something's by now what's that and then hopefully <laughs> it'll be drawn into the uh, the greenhouse area because not many people know about it in Hastings it's not and it's at the moment it's only open on Saturdays um, but what the, the way that they, they work is that they have lots of volunteers who grow plants at home and then they give them to their greenhouse and the greenhouse sells them on a Saturday so that's how they're making their they make their money because they have to pay for the renovation and the upkeep they get a few grants from various places but most of it is sort of self-funded and they hope to have the renovation finished in the spring and the idea is then we'll have a spider as part of the opening excellent so it's it's, it's it quite looks fun. stunning really amazing well, I well the, it would when, be. when we get the big one well, and the, the idea is that because it's um bolted i can take it all to bits and afterwards i could put it in my garden have it at the front of the garden going down there. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be another good one for your neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> First they cut down the trees and then yeah. they put and a then... big spider up. <laughs> Every day it moves down the hill towards oh, okay. <laughs> Wow, what a project. Yeah, it's lovely. Uh, I, I don't I think, think it will end up. The, the Eden project will, will have it. They <laughs> <laughs> snap it up. <laughs> mm. Wow, that's, that looks amazing. So you feel your creative juices are flowing. Oh, I, yeah, it's nice. It's it is. It's um, there's lots to do, and I, and I there's a life drawing class that I go to now on sort of fairly regular basis, and that's really nice as well. And uh, yeah, and I've got it's a month or so. But when when I was away, I was away for we were away for about a month in September. And we managed to get to Italy, and on the way back and on the way there, we stayed with my brother in his chateau in France, and there, and I'd left a lot of my stuff there my kit um for sculpting and stuff and so i've brought that back as well so oh so yeah yeah it's, it'll be nice when they get it all set up um lots yeah makes lots to do it's interesting lots of various you still you're, st you're still doing the carving too the wood carving yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. well I'm, and in fact the the people of this linda who saw what i was doing she said oh you could sell those at our greenhouse to as another way of getting people in so I'm, I'm going to have to chop a few more and then they were going to put them in the greenhouse for sale next weekend and see. But they, the idea is they can add, they can use it as a, an advertising element on their mm -hmm. Facebook and stuff. And apparently what happens is people see that and then they come down. So they try and have events, they try and have things that make it slightly different every week so that they can attract different people. And it's apparently it seemed to work, she said. So it's, it's not about selling stuff. It's just about having something which is a focal point of attention. So that's, so I've got to do a bit more carving for them. But yeah, I've been making some interesting, more different shapes and stuff, maps, ideas with other things. Oh, cool. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. But yeah, that was a very long answer to your question about was the course. I think well, it that was amazing to go past your project and the plastic. <laughs> that looks so cool. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, I would, I would agree. Just like you said, and what I, you know, referring to what I, uh, when I talked about my woes, it's, it's actually interesting that that um, that that is a skill that I feel I have now much better since the course. This this letting it chanter in the background. It's not gone, but it's not too engaging if I don't decide to. And it's uh, very interesting that actually, who still might get uh, the raw sewage in a way, <laughs> is um, is uh, John. You know, my hubby, you know, not that he gets it in the neck, no, no, but when I talk about those feelings, very often about other people, he uh, he can um, get uh, all the unfiltered thinking patterns often, you know, so he's uh, least likely to feel that I have got anywhere because it, it just, because when you hear someone talking, like I hear myself talking, that those, those feelings and uh, thought patterns are as dysfunctional as they ever were, you know, they are, they are really raw in that way. Um, the the non-reactivity is a second step that doesn't inter seem to interfere with the raw material. 
So there's the raw material as dysfunctional as it can be and as diverse. And then there's this step of uh, new skill, non-reactivity. It doesn't have to guide me. It doesn't, um, it doesn't influence my behavior. So when I meet the people who I might just have talked very badly about, for example, you know, you wouldn't know, nor do I feel towards them like that. So it feels actually at sometimes really um, not very authentic, if you get me, because I might have just aired some dysfunctional thinking, mostly to John, really, because he's around and I trust him in that way. And then uh, you get me five minutes later behaving in a completely different way and, and also thinking or responding in a totally different way. It's, it's such a, do, do you see how, how uh, you know, that it's so different from, I guess, when I started out on this journey, it would be like, you, you, it's a way to be being more, more authentic. And actually my daily experience of it is that it develops this parallel being, you know, one where it could go very dysfunctional and um, stressful because there's all the thinking patterns that would lead to that. And uh, my more actual, more lived life, which is quite um, peaceful because you can just let it all sit there and and not respond to it too much and and it just it comes it goes i don't need to react um um i can look at it and say that's an interesting hateful thought or something you know mm. um and and it doesn't easily lead to this well sometimes i say well who which am i now you know because it's just like two elfies chuntering along in parallel mm. is that understandable yeah yeah and i know i think it's yeah, the interesting thing is that it's that two different ways of either being or experiencing is it, for me it's this idea of what is this central you-ness and that in fact it seems that it's a, an exploration of ways of being rather than of identity and that it's so i, I see oh, less, interesting yes i see less of it as being that i am being like this more of this is a being way that this entity has so less rootedness if you like yeah. and uh, more focusing on what it is that's happening as being a distinct thing and I get less I'm less and less sure in fact I'm more and more sure that there is no self there is no fixed thing even though it's very persistent and even though people will say yes there is really hard. but I don't I just don't think it, it's true I just think it's all a very effective efficient method of being and that's what because it's so efficient it is it's the perception is that it's real but it's it's not it's just a an illusion but an incredibly powerful one but it can be chipped away out and one of the ways it seems to me is to, is to think about when you have more than one way of, of experiencing the world rather than it being on two people is, is that there is no person at all it's just experience it's, and that would, it seems to make it more clearer. It seems to make it clearer that that, that probably is actually what's happening. It doesn't help when you've got a hangover, though, thinking about it. I'm <laughs> far less articulate than, the, than I am, even when I'm normal, and that's pretty poor. So. Oh. <laughs> well, he, that that was very beautiful for me, just what you just said. So that that was uh, that worked for me, your articulatedness. <laughs> yeah, that's very well put. exhausted now. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, so your self is, is just a, an effective illusion. Um, yeah, I, 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 well, it's more well, it, it's more yes, but yes, convenient and, and incredibly useful for changing the world. You know, it, not but not necessarily in a good way. Change. Listen, I'm looking out of my window and and just see. There's my looking out my into the garden mm -hmm. and. I'm looking at, and there's a made world out there, and it, it's, it's, a, it's that wouldn't have been there if it weren't for us. And so, so this entire thing is a construction, and the reason it's been possible to do it is because we all think of ourselves as individuals, individual personalities. So, in terms of efficiency, it's extraordinary that it, what it's what it's produced. And so it's not it's not just convenience it's it's just remarkable um but that doesn't make it any more real i've always well not always but often thought of self as as basically a 
a sum total of connections. Um, you know, whether that be to people, things, ideas, you know, basically an intersection of all these things. You know, where there is a relationship, there is a, an, an intersection. You know, whether that relationship is with a, you know, like I said, an idea or a person or a thing, it doesn't really matter what it is. It's, it's that relationship and, and, and the multitude of those relationships that intersect at a self or what, what is perceived to be a self. That sum total of intersections is that self. That, that's sometimes how I think. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Hey. Well, I was thinking that what you were saying, Elfie, about this idea that you're in two, you can have two different ways of seeing, or ways of being. And I was doing a drawing yesterday, and I think I've talked about this before, where the, the, some of the time you're doing your drawing and you're looking, and you're not looking at what you're producing, and some of the time you're looking at what you're producing. And for me, those are two distinct states to be in, and it's the same person sensibly doing the being in those two and it constantly interchanging very rapidly moving from one to the other but both distinct states you can't merge them or I, i'm unable to do that but you can so you can see yourself in those two states and the ability to see yourself means that you you're um, more in control because you know where you are when you're doing something one part of it and you know where you are when you're doing the other part whereas in the past there would have only been one thing going on and that would have been to do with the outcome. That would, have, that would be to do with the product. You were doing this in order to do that. Whereas now there is to do it and to produce it. And there, the, that distinction, I wouldn't have, I don't think I would have ever come across independently of you know, the other things. And it seems in a tiny little way, it seems to have a parallel with, with the sort of things that you were saying. Yeah, that's a really nice parallel. Yeah, I like that. It's that, yeah, it's just change of perspective. Well, um, I, I feel really so lucky to uh, to have had to have stumbled across it, and you know, it, that's that's really I think the most important thing in my life to 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 have that going on a bit, you know, available at times. Yeah. This kind of yeah. switch, I have to say, you know, that is that is one hell of a skill, and it's it seems to be not many not many people have it. I don't think. Mm. It seems to be the case. Don't even know about its existence in that way. Yeah. Mm. That's about, about hey, there, there you have it. And, and there are certain metiers like drawing or you know, art, maybe all together, where where it it fosters that, doesn't it? Where where that is something that might get um, facilitated without it even being outspoken. I, I wonder how much though that then goes into, uh, I, I'm not sure that that translates into normal, um, or not normal life, but um, interpersonal life, even if an artist would have um, developed that skill that you <clears throat> just described, Rupert. That I think you're absolutely habit. right. Yeah, yeah. No, doesn't necessarily think... mean that that would that skill, same skill, would be applied in in their normal social life, for example. No, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, and I, I think. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I, I find, that's the bit I find more difficult because the the more it's a skill, the the less perhaps it's um, sort of fundamental to to living a good life. It's just living a life and being aware of it, but not necessarily being able to use those, as you say, use those skills in a beneficial way outside of that particular activity. And I, I, I all I think it does is to, it's to say it's it's a useful skill, if and like many skills, if they you've applied in the right or oh, right, right applied in a a way that adds value to to being in the world. Then it's then they're useful in that way in a way that well if you didn't have those skills at all then 
if you were trying to be valuable, you would be you've got less to draw on because you don't have those skills. But the skills on by themselves are, are not, as you say, necessarily um, going to be helpful. And in 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 personal in, in interconnections, relationships. Interesting well, how I, compartmentalized it stays, isn't it? Yeah, I find it yeah. interesting that that um no, it's to do with the objectivity of it, I suppose, is that because you're distancing yourself from the the emotional part and seeing that as something that exists, then you're not perhaps going to be drawn in by emotions into events in relationships as you would be otherwise. Maybe. Although I'm struggling there. I, I, I think you just really, um, it's what you said before, really hit, hit the nail there, which is... Um, which is this thing about identity and that, that that's why it stays you know what is fundamentally necessary is the softening up of the egoic identity and that is not something that happens all that easy that most I mean, most people go on the path to better themselves indeed you know make a good one make one good authentic elfie and you know this angel being and um it, it's not going that way, is it? That is that is an, that is just more of illusion. Um, it's actually the opposite. This softening up, and it's just how do you find yourself today in the world as a being, being in the world rather than as a particular identity, and and that kind of um, one gleans that more more on the way, and it might and it might not be what one started out with, nor what most people would have on their agenda. That it, most people would have on their agenda an improvement of that self, not um, a dissolving of that self. Yes, absolutely. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow, that is, I may say, hey. Let's, um, shall we have a, a, a winter program? I will be up for that. I haven't <laughs> yeah, really, yeah. That, that's been great for me. And um, hey, I wouldn't mind to, to have a few of those again. Well, I'll definitely not have a drink the night before. <laughs> yes, time. you did so well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to have a lie down now. <laughs> yes, put, put, put some cold thing on your forehead or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gary, your I, life life has just been switched off in, the, in Bali. When we started, you know, it was bright yeah, so, sunshine, and I thought, yeah, you'd be plunged yeah, into the middle of the night. The lights, the lights go off very quickly here. When the sun goes yeah. down, it's, it's very very quick. Yeah. yeah. So I've, I've got a lamp next to me now. So yes, yeah, so it's all dark now. Have no, a look. Mm, um, look at that. This is the Brown Japani. <laughs> so it's, it's pitch black. Well, you both both got better gardens than me, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> you win on the garden. Well, this is my garden. <laughs> well, you borrow it. <laughs> oh, yeah. guys, that is very, very brilliant. Well, so, let me see you both again. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we must make it more regular. The... Yeah. And, well, and I, I, I'm I, going to see you some shortly, Elfie, then. That would be amazing. Yeah. Anyway, bye. I, bye I, I have a think yeah. about what you want to do and uh, let me know. But um, yeah. we don't have anything on during that time. So. Um, unless something else crops up, I'll be happy to host you. Yeah. Oh, so. amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's no, it'd be good to see you from the, from the flesh for real. Yes. Zooming. Mm. Yeah. I love that. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm, okay. I'm going to okay. let you go then. So, oh, yes. let you all go. We'll Thank you again. for organizing uh, it, Gary. Yeah. yeah. Oh, me and the spider are off for a lie down. There. That is just fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll see you all again. Yeah. Yeah. See you all again, Gary. Take care. Bye bye, yeah. Rupert.